Yeah. So I think it, again, I'll, I'll, I'll put the technology on the side for a second. First is I think it's all around understanding the value proposition today of your firm. Mm -hmm. And number two, it's about the future potential value proposition. And then from there you can layer on the technologies. So the, I still think there's going to be that need for digitization. So the low code technology, I still think is mission critical. The next one is really around, I'm fascinated with the, the impact generative AI is going to have on organization. The thing that it, I haven't seen yet is how are, is everybody going to start to derive value? And at the end of the, so let's take a law firm. So a really good lawyer is somebody who knows case law. So that's the, all the cases in, in the past and the outcomes. In that particular case, an AI, a generative AI is really good at understanding all of that case law and then having the ability for people to interact with it. So if you're a lawyer, how do you derive new value in that type of scenario? It's really around the strategy and still being able to connect all those dots. So I think generative AI has the greatest potential to have a big impact on organizations, but it's really around how do you use it to be more strategic to create something your clients really want. That's the fundamental thing, I think. I think there's a lot of danger for firms, though, that just jump into AI without having a plan. And what I mean by that is, the stat that McKinsey is publishing right now is 67% of all digital transformations fail. And AI is, it's a transformation, but it's all around data and it's got a lot more nuances and complexities in it. It's really around starting small, trying things and iterating through it. 